All right, we're going to play Welcome to Ponyville, which is a uh, model pony game. And I need to play more of those games because they're fun and there's actually a lot of them. I'm a little bit tired, so I apologize in advance if I derp out. Oh, okay, we got Equestria Daily, Vinyl Scratch Tapes, a Lightning Round, and Celestia Radio. And, uh, Philly Games, where the people that, uh, started this whole thing. I'm pretty sure, at least. Type a profile name here and press enter to create a save file. Okay. So, profile name. Flamingo. Well, cause I don't know what else to put. I just thought of that, and I decided that would be okay. Okay, I don't know how to play this game, so let's do the tutorial. Ooh, what was that? Hi there! Ew, it's Sweetie Belle. My name is Sweetie Belle. On your way to Ponyville? That's great! But there's a few things you should know before you get there. That isn't actually a bad impression of Sweetie Belle. That's pretty good. First, what you probably already figured out is how to navigate the conversations. Simply left click when a character is done talking to advance to the next set of dialogue. Looks like All you right. got the hang of it. If you don't want to wait for the next text to pop up, you can double click. This will make the text appear on the screen instantly. Click a third time and you'll skip it. I'm going to end up just letting it all play the way when I want it. When talking to you, their name will come up above the chat box. Unless you're talking, then it will say you. If you're thinking about something, then no name comes up. Okay, I can yes, think to myself. You need to know how to make a decision. Often, options will show for you to choose from. These options will appear in the middle of a chat box. Just use your mouse to select the option you want. Give it a try. Okay. I got it. I think I've got it. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> this truly says that everything we do can influence the ponies around us. And even all of Equestria. Whoa. Really? I think she meant your decisions are really important. I don't know. But, you know, I was sleeping past that day. Oh. Well, sweetie Belle, you should be paying attention in class. Oh, I should be lecturing her. Decisions. When this happens, you'll get two options. Just two options. Uh. One of them will be neutral, but the other will say either hero or anti-hero, depending on your previous decisions. Ooh. Oh, and if you want to turn off voice, just hit the M key on your keyboard. Okay, I'll probably listen to the voices because they're pretty neat. You probably want to know the save feature, huh? The game will save every time there's a new day. So don't worry, there's no hidden typewriters for you to find. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm always tired of having to have a certain game where you go around and you have one item that you have to go to to save the game. And that's good. One last thing I'm supposed to tell you guys. Thank you for downloading the game and have fun. And if you want to learn more, check out PillyGames.com. All right, will do. Let's go. I hope you enjoy it. I wonder if I'll get a teaching cutie mark for this. <laughs> oh, sweetie Belle, where are you? Oh, Rarity wants you. Oh, hey, I gotta go. See you in Yeah. Okay, do you know how difficult it was for, oh, intense situations, alcohol references, suggestive themes, no author, no go remove or no, blah. Do you know how difficult it was to download this game? Oh. Oh, God. What's this? I have no idea what this game is like. All I know is that you're a pony. That's unsettling music. Ha <laughs> ha! Should I be concerned? <laughs> Whew! Lightning. This is creepy. Where? Where am I? Gah, this is starting out to be creepy. What in Celestia's name was that? What? What is going on here? I'm... Oh, oh, who turned out the lights? Oh, this is creepy. 
creepy. This is really creepy, guys. Where did they come? Oh, I hate spiders. Behave with this. Uh, I think I'm okay. Where am I now? No, not again. It's dark again. Oh, this is creepy. That bell, every time it goes off, it gets dark. Like it's an alarm or something. I wish I could silence the thing. Oh, this is, this is creepy. Ah! Ah! Timberwolf! Timberwolf! I can't move. My hooves won't move. Why? No. Not here. Not in a place like this. Gather your belongings. Talking Timberwolf? Uh, what? Whoa. Ha ah, ha. Okay. That sure is unsettling. Huh. What the? What was with that? Act 1 That was a very unsettling beginning. Ooh, a train. <coughs> Scene 1 arrival. Alright. Gather your belongings, everypony. We'll be arriving in Ponyville in 10 minutes. Please prepare to depart the train. Ooh, we're on a train. Huh? What? It... It was only a dream? Nightmares again. I've been getting them for a while now. They just feel so real. So apparently we've been having nightmares other than just that one. Okay. That must be Ponyville. Huh. Doesn't look so bad. Excuse me. We're about to arrive in Ponyville. Might I see your ticket? Oh, that's the conductor. I should probably show him my ticket. <laughs> okay. I guess that's the conductor. Okay, give the conductor. Why wouldn't I give the conductor my ticket? Thank you. Oh, I get to pick which one I am. Earth Pony, Unicorn, or Pegasus. I want to be a unicorn. Ah, a unicorn. The magic and spells type, I see. I'm sure you'll fit right in. I hope so. Oh, I'm a mayor. Hmm. Very well, madam. Everything appears to be in order. Welcome to Ponyville. Guess I'm here. Better grab my stuff. Good thing I didn't bring much. So I guess we're moving here? I'm, I'm moving to Ponyville! Yay! Ah, it's bright. Celestia certainly isn't slacking off. I should have got some sunglasses. Eww. Now I'm going back now. It's time to start a new life here in Ponyville. But I only have enough money to buy a house. That's great and all, but a pony's gotta eat. How many bits do I have again? 2,000 bits. That should be enough to get settled in. Will that leave me enough to buy food? 2,000 bits?! Well, wow. Now, where do I go to get a house in this town? I should probably check the town hall. I'm sure some pony there knows what for sale around here. Da da da. We're in town. This place looks nice. It's pony Hi there, miss. Want to buy some apples? Ooh, apple bloom. Whoa, whoa. Hey there, little one. I'm sorry I didn't see you there. I need to pay attention. Almost stepped on her. Oh, how could I step on her apple bloom? It's okay, miss. Wanna buy some apples? We've got the best apples in Equestria, and I help pick them. That means they're extra tasty. I'm sure they are, but I don't have any money right now. I'm sorry. When I come back, I'll be sure to get some and buy some apples, okay? Well, I reckon y'all must be new in town, judging by them bags you got there. Oh, it's Applejack that obvious? Well, y'all don't quite look like Ponyville folk, what with the luggage and all. Tell you what, newcomer, how about I give you a free sample? A gift from Sweet Apple Acres. Wow, thanks. I'm starving. That's very nice of you, miss. Applejack, and this here's my little sister, Apple Bloom. We work the farm over at Sweet Apple Acres. Y'all come back again soon now, you hear? It's always nice to meet new faces. Alright, free apples. I'll make sure I come back once I have some money. Thank you again, Applejack. 
Did I ever luck out? Free apples from a cute mare, and I haven't even been here 20 minutes. This place might not be so bad after all. Wait a minute, cute mare. Okay. <sighs> I still need to head over to Town Hall. Guess I can try a few apples on the way. Um nom nom. <coughs> I'm sorry I didn't see you there. Are you alright? Oh, giant Pinkie Pie. Oh, you nearly choked on my apple. I really need to start watching where I'm going. <coughs> oh. Are you new in Ponyville? Because you must be new in Ponyville because I know every Ponyville I've ever seen you before. You don't look like you're from Ponyville. Uh, that means you're new, and I love meeting new ponies. New ponies are always interesting uh, and new and have so many new things to talk about. And ooh, what's in the bag? Is there cake in there? <laughs> no, it smells like apples. Uh, <gasps> Did you get those from Applejack? Are the Apple family's apples just the best? I know they are. Uh, I've had apples from all over, and theirs are always the best. So hi. Uh, hi there, Pinkie Pie. My name is... <gasps> I almost forgot! I'm running late! I gotta go! See you later, um, new unicorn -y. What was all that about? Somebody needs to lay off the sugar. I better hurry and get to Town Hall. These bags are getting heavy. Well, no kidding! I don't think you could ever get Pinkie Pie to lay off the sugar. Ever. That looks like Town Hall. Guess I'll head inside. Hmm. Must be the receptionist. I'll bet she knows where I can buy a house. Hi there. I was wondering if you could tell me who I need to speak to about purchasing a house? Depends. Are you new to Ponyville? Just got off the train. Well, if you're looking for a house, you should know the mayor has to approve all real estate purchases within town limits. Currently, there are three houses for sale. If you would like, I could mark them on a map for you. That would be great, but I don't have a map. Not a problem. Maps are free for all residents and future residents of Ponyville. I'll mark the locations of the for sale houses for you. Thanks a lot. So once I found a house, I like, I just... Just come back here and I'll let the mayor know that you wish to speak with her. She will handle all the paperwork. Have a good day. Da -da! I got a map of Ponyville. Alright, which house do I want to check out first? I apologize if you can hear a dog barking in the background. That's my dog. She likes to bark. Of course, most dogs do. Okay, townhouse, forest house, river house. Let's go look at the river house first. I don't know which one I'll pick. This place looks pretty cozy. The stream would certainly be relaxing. I wonder what the interior looks like. Is that Fluttershy? It looks like Fluttershy's cottage. Wow, crime rate must be pretty low in this town if they don't even lock their doors. Though I guess there's nothing worth stealing in an empty house. Well, this place isn't so bad for an abandoned house. Nice view from this, of the stream from here. Do I want to live here? Uh, let's go to the forest house. Now seriously, that does look like a Pinkie Pie's cottage. Or not Pinkie Pie's, I'm sorry, Fluttershy's. The map says that it's ever free forest. Huh, there's a big warning symbol on the map. Wonder what that's all about. I don't know. This is kind of nice. Got a good view of the forest from here. A bit out of the way. Plenty of privacy, too. Do I want to live here? Let's try the townhouse. Well, I wouldn't have to walk far to get to the shops from this house. I wonder what the inside looks like. That inside's all look the same. This place isn't bad. I have a good view of the town. I can even see Applejack's stall from here. Do I want to live here? Oh god, I don't know which one I want! Ah, uh, ah, uh, I can't decide which one I want. Uh, this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> Welcome back. Did you find a house that suited you? Yeah, I think I did. What do I need to do now? I informed the mayor that you'd be coming by to speak with her about a house. I'll let her know you're here. Well, they certainly are punctual, or at least. The mayor will see you now, ma'am. Thank you. Welcome to Ponyville. Oh, I am Mayor Mayor. I understand you are looking for a house. Well, yes. I think I found one I like. Actually, I really don't know which one I'm gonna pick. Very well. What house are you interested in? Uh, 
Um. Uh, I'll take the river house. Are you sure? Yes. I really like the river house, but I'm not sure I can afford it. <clears throat> well, let me see here. Usual price for that home is 2100 bits. <sighs> but our housing market has been in decline as of late. Oh, come on. I'm like 100 bits away. I'd be willing to sell it to you for 1700. <gasps> oh, yes. Hey, seriously? I can afford that, though just barely. I'll take it. Very good, then. Here is the key to your new home. All right, we got a house key. Uh, here at Ponyville, I would like to be the first to welcome you as our newest unicorn. Please enjoy your stay. If you're ever looking for work, there is a board in the lobby that usually has jobs posted. Enjoy your new home, and don't be afraid to stop by should you need anything. I should probably head to my new house. It's getting late. Okay, I think the river house is okay. It doesn't seem that bad. Wow, Ponyville looks even better in the evening. Princess Luna has been doing a really good job since she resumed control of the night. Ouch. Hauling my stuff around all day is starting to take a toll on my spine. Hmm, I still have plenty of apples. Applejack must have given me a whole bucket. At least dinner is taken care of tonight. And tomorrow's breakfast. An all apple diet can't be that bad for you, right? Who knows? I certainly don't. I used to live on an all apple diet a lot. Well, not all apple, but mostly apples. <laughs> then I ate apples every single day. Oh man, next thing on my agenda is going to be getting a bed. That floor does not look comfortable. Guess I can use my saddlebags as a bed for tonight. That would also be uncomfortable, but I guess not as uncomfortable as just sleeping on the floor. Z sleeping noises. I, I don't know. Scene 2, labor. We're already to scene 2. Yawn. Ugh. I don't want to get up. I know the feeling. Ow. Ow. Note to self. Saddlebags do not make for a good bed. I would have figured that. Okay, today I'm getting a bed. I probably should eat something first. I think I have a few apples left. Nom nom nom. Pinkie Pie was right. These apples are really good. Time to go see about getting a bed. Hi. Hmm, furniture store, furniture store. Where be the furniture store? What's this? The Carousel Boutique. Now with furniture? Huh, never heard of a boutique selling furniture. Guess I'll see what they've got. Since when has Rarity been selling furniture? <coughs> Hello there, dear customer, and welcome to Carousel Boutique. Well, I have never seen you before. Would you happen to be new in Ponyville? Yeah, just moved in. Marvelous, darling. Welcome to Ponyville. You'll simply love it here, I assure you. It has all the niceties of a big city with a touch of rule. Uh... My name yes. is Rarity, the proprietor of this dandy establishment, as well as Ponyville's shining fashionista. It's always nice to meet new faces. What can I get for you? Wait, let me guess. Something proper. You would look simply uh, dashing in formal attire. Uh, Perhaps you're planning a romantic evening with that special sum pony, and you need an absolutely stunning ensemble. Whatever it is, I assure you that um, I have I, something uh, just uh, for the occasion. With the rarities designs, you are guaranteed to draw admiration. Actually, I was hoping to see what you had in the way of furniture. I saw your sign outside. Oh, but of course. If you just moved in, you probably need to furnish your new home. I've never heard of a boutique that sold furniture. Is that something you normally do? Well, curious story, that. It isn't usually my thing. There was a bit of a shipping mix-up, actually. I was supposed to get in a shipment of designer fabric, but instead wound up with a shipment of furniture. Oh. How some pony made that oversight, I'll never know. Naturally, I was furious at first. Once I got a good look at the bed sheets and curtains, I thought to myself, <gasps> Idea! Idea? What idea? Why not turn this mistake into an opportunity? So, I kept the furniture. I rather enjoy the challenge of making fashionable furniture. Ah, well that's an interesting hobby for Rarity to take up. Of course, clothing is still my passion, but it doesn't hurt to have a hobby on the side. Of course. Look at me rambling on like that. <laughs> what can I get for you? 
20% cooler bed. No, I'm just gonna get the soft bed. I see you have exquisite taste. If you'd like, I can have the bed delivered to your home this afternoon. That would be great, but I don't think I could afford it. Don't be silly. Think of it as a welcoming gift. Why are we charging a lot of welcoming, welcoming gifts? I mean, we get a discount on our house. We're getting free shipping. And we've gotten this whole bucket of apples. Goodness, people are generous here. <laughs> in Ponyville. Not that I'm complaining. That's great. Thanks a lot, Rarity. Wow, she's really generous. Everyone here is generous, it seems. Huh. The Carousel Boutique has been added to your map. Rarity is now an acquaintance. Yay! We know Rarity. Well, that's the last of my bits. Probably should have found a job first. I never was good with money. Didn't the mayor said there was a job board at Town Hall? Town Hall! <laughs> So you can get a job. I don't. Can you pick your? I I guess you can pick your job. This must be the job board. Let's see. There's only one job posted. Hey, it's Rarity. Says she needs help shipping an order of fashion items. That's not too surprising. Sounds like it could be fun. This might not be so bad after all. Says she's paying 100 bits. That's a pretty generous sum for a single day's work. Probably should head over there before somebody else takes a job. Wow, wow, we're going right back to the boutique. Oh, welcome back, darling. What can I get for you? Actually, I was hoping I could help you. I saw you had a job toasted at Town Hall. But of course. I've been so busy lately, I nearly forgot. Is the job still available? Yes, it is. I need it done immediately. Is that all right with you? Yeah, sure. Excellent, darling. The job is fairly simple, and your timing is perfect. I need some pony to pull the car to the post office for me. The order must go out immediately. You see, I have just completed this big order for this smashing swabber in Cantonot. Oh, what? My client requires these outfits post haste, so I must get them to the post office right away. No, seriously, what is a silhouette? It's some kind of fashion term. I don't know any fashion terms, unfortunately. Trouble so. is... The cart is just too heavy for a delicate lady, such as myself, to pull. <laughs> so, the job is pulling a cart to the post office? That would be correct. I actually just finished loading the cart. We can leave whenever you're ready. Is there anything else you wish to know? I'm ready to get started. I hope I wasn't supposed to ask anything, uh, else. Alright then. Just hook yourself up to the cart, and we can be on our merry little way. It looks like Pinkie Pie's cutie mark with the balloons. Is something the matter? You're looking at that cart quite hard. It looks like Pinkie Pie's cart with the balloons. Somehow it looks familiar. It does. But of course, <laughs> you must have run into Pinkie Pie already. Oh, that's not a coincidence. Yeah, you could say I bumped into her earlier. Is she a friend of yours? Pinkie is one of my very best friends. She's hilarious and so high energy. If you ever want to throw a party, she's the mare to do the job. High energy? I think that's putting it lightly. Does the cart belong to her? Yes, I don't have one of my own. I would scarcely ever need such a thing. Pinky was kind enough to let me borrow it for the day. Not to sound pushy, but we really must get going. I need to get this delivery out immediately. We can chat along the way if you'd like. I do so enjoy good conversation. Yeah, just let me get hooked up. I hope this isn't too difficult. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, this thing is heavy. You weren't kidding. Is that all right? Can you manage? Like I have a choice. I need the bits. I can just levitate this thing, but it's so heavy I might have a harder time doing that. Guess that's why she wanted some pony to pull it. Uh, it's fine. Really. I can manage it. Thank you. But please don't strain yourself. I wouldn't want you getting hurt on my account. It's no trouble, really. Just what exactly did you put in this thing? My client demanded dresses that would STUN! So naturally I spared no expense. Each dress is studded with gems. 
A single dress weighs barely anything, but collectively they can be quite heavy. Oh no. <sighs> I see that. You say you just moved in. If you just bought a bed for me today. Where in Equestria did you sleep? On my saddlebags. Saddlebags? That is no place for a proper unicorn to sleep. You really should have come to me sooner, darling. Oh, I would have gladly let you use a bed at the boutique. Well, at least for your first night in Ponyville until you could get a bed to your new home. Oh, okay. I guess I could have done that. I don't know. I wish I would have. Thank you, Rarity. That's very generous of you. You really don't need to thank me. It's what a proper lady would do. Here I thought she was another one of those prissy unicorn fashion mares I went to magic school with. Guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. Lesson learned. Oh my, how about we take a break for a minute? Looks like the cart is starting to get rather cumbersome. Yeah, I just need to catch my breath. Thanks. It isn't too much further. By the way, did you happen to attend school in Canterlot? Oh, hold on. Did they spell that they? Was that meant to be spelled that way? By they way? I think it's supposed to be the, but whatever. Yeah, my folks sent me up there for a while. I didn't go on Celestia's upper classes, though. Did you ever know someone named Twilight Sparkle? Twilight Sparkle? That name does sound really familiar, but I can't place it. Is she some pony I should know? I'm sure you'll meet her eventually. She's another one of my best friends. If you went to school in Canterlot, you and her may have a lot to talk about. Ready to get going? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, playing a cart. I would imagine that cart would be heavy. In real Here life, I probably are. wouldn't be able to do that. you could pull that cart right over there, I will have it unloaded. Excuse me while I head inside and take care of the postage. Whew, finally. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to make it there for a moment. Ponyville isn't even that big of a place, and I'm exhausted. Hey! It's that new pony! Huh? Hey, new pony! Oh, Apple Bloom. me? Oh, Apple Bloom. Hey, it's you. Um, Apple Bloom, right? Yep, that's me. And here are my friends. Sweetie Belle. Hey, you were in the tutorial. <laughs> and Scootaloo. We're the Cutie Mark Crusaders on the quest to find our Cutie Marks. That's really neat. That's really neat, girls. I bet you have all sorts of adventures, huh? Yeah, we get into all sorts of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes we get into stuff we probably shouldn't have. <laughs> so what? You never see Rainbow Dash backing down from trouble. Well, I'm sure you'll get your cutie marks before you know it. Hey, Pinky brought this over to my sisters this morning. Are you working for my sister? Wait a second, Rarity is your sister? They do look a lot alike. Yeah, she's my big sister. Are you working for her? Maybe she's Rarity's girlfriend. <laughs> okay, hold on. <sighs> no, just no, 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 it's nothing like that. I'm just doing a job for her. Well, you do look like you might know about fashion and all that beauty stuff. I see why she's called Sweetie Belle. I'm just doing a job for her today. It's nothing permanent. That's right, you're new in town. So I guess you're trying to earn up some bits. <gasps> if you like, you could ask my sister if she needs any help down at the farm. Her and Big Macintosh are always super busy. I reckon they could use a helping huh? Maybe that will get us our cutie marks. Cutie Mark Crusader Job Finders! Ugh. Hold on a second, girls. I. Oh boy. What was all that about? Why do I have a bad feeling all of a sudden? All done. Oh, how I wish I could see their faces when they lay eyes on such stunning works of art. Huh. Such is the business when my clients are from out of town. Shall we head back to the boutique? Da, da, da. Oh, goodness. Uh, well, the key mark for Sadie is sure enthusiastic. You can just leave the cart there behind the boutique. Thank you so much for helping me on such short notice. 
I was really in a pinch there for a moment. I simply had to get that order out today. And I didn't know of any pony Oops, that would have been able to help. It. Of course, you'll be wanting your pay. Here you are. 100 bits. All right, that's plenty to stock up on some food. Thanks, Rarity. Let me know if you ever need any more work done. Actually, dear, I need help quite often. Oh, why don't you give me your address? That way I can send you a letter should I ever be in need of assistance. You'll get first dibs on any work I need done. Sound fair? Yeah, thanks again, Rarity. That's really nice of you. But of course. Bye-bye now. I really was wrong about her. She's very generous. wonder if my bed has arrived yet. I should head back and check it out. Oh, back home. I still think that looks so much like Fluttershy's Cottage. Huh, my bed hasn't arrived yet. <coughs> Whoa, what was that? <laughs> that kind of startled me, actually. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I do that. All the time. Oh, it's oh, Derpy. Um, did you hear a bed? It's Derpy. <laughs> yeah, just this morning. I guess you're the delivery pony? Sometimes. I usually deliver the mail, but sometimes I deliver bigger stuff, too. Derpy Mare Mail can deliver anything from a package to a piano. Derpy Mare Mail? Mm-hmm. It's called Derpy Mare Mail because I'm Derpy and I'm a mare. <laughs> it's a really clever name. I wanted to call it Muffin Mail, but that didn't seem to make sense. Muffin mm, Mail, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Some pony really likes muffins. I see. That name does make more sense. Yeah, I thought so too. Hey, I just realized. I've never seen you before, and last I checked, this house was empty. Hmm, usually empty house, a new face. <gasps> you must be new! Hi, new friend! <laughs> Why is she getting so close? Hi, derpy friend? Yeah, wanna be friends? This mare certainly se is certainly a bit ditzy. She seems sweet, though, and the eye thing is kinda cool. Oh, yeah, the eyes. Yeah, sure. I haven't made any friends here yet. You'll be the first. That's a great new friend. I don't have many friends. It's so nice to get a new one. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I have your bed. Whoops. The cart must have tipped over when I landed. You mean crash. Uh, don't worry. I'm sure your bed is just fine. Derpy mail mail packages almost always are. Yeesh. Well, the bed is intact. Thank you for the delivery, Derpy. You're welcome, new friend. Hey, oh boy. Can I get some muffins later? Muffins? Yeah, that would be nice. I love muffins. Yay, that's a trait that apparently we share with Derpy. <gasps> Me too! I just love muffins. Banana muffins, banana nut muffins, blueberry and banana nut muffins, strawberry muffins. <laughs> Getting really close again. Muffins. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, how did you become a male mare, Derpy? Well, that's a good question. I guess you could say I'm really good at bringing things to ponies. Usually in good condition. <laughs> hmm. She gets closer when she's excited. Then she backs away when she's nervous. That's interesting. So, I got an idea one day to start my own delivery business. Well, not really. At first, I got a job delivering pianos and anvils. Oh. There were a few incidents. <laughs> Some ponies had to go to the hospital because pianos fell on them, but it really wasn't my fault, honest. So then I... Hmm. Uh, <laughs> got fired? Uh, yeah. But, but then I started delivering letters and smaller stuff. Derpy Mare Mail was born, and no ponies have had pianos dropped on them since. That's good. Well, that's a good thing. You just knocked over my mailbox. Oops, my bad. Here, I can fix it. No, it's okay. I'll get it later, okay, Derpy? Okay. Well, I need to get back to work. Lots of ponies have stuff they need to get somewhere. See you soon for muffins, new friend. Derpy is not my friend. Friends will have more to talk about than ponies you barely know and may even give quests. Ooh! That sounds cool. 
I was afraid she was going to tear my house down if she stuck around much longer. Nice mare, but it's probably best I don't hang out with her at my house. I bet her home insurance agency just loves her. <laughs> On the bright side, I've made a new friend, even if she is a little ditzy. I better get to work. Gotta drag this bed inside. Even if it is kind of... Well, flipped over. Yawn. It's getting late. Think it's time to try out the new bed. Sleep noises. I don't know how else I would do that. Knock. Huh? Who could that be? Wait, the sun isn't even out yet. The door-to-door -door sales ponies don't even come out this early. Why is some pony beating on my door? He hello? Well, howdy there, partner. Figured I'd come by and get you. What? What? <laughs> you sure are a kidder. Apple Bloom told me you were looking to drum up some work. Said for me to come get you first thing in the morning. And it's morning, so here I am. Y'all ready to get to work? Um... Morning. Yeah, right. Celestia isn't even up yet. Wayne doesn't start for another five hours, sister. Wait, you said Apple Bloom told you I wanted to come you to come get me? She sure and did. I said that her wrong, whatever. Cutie mark Crusaders thought they'd earn a job finder's cutie mark. Yeah, I probably said that last statement incorrectly, but whatever. Shoot, I ain't even sure what that would look like. Well, grab your work gear, if and y'all got any. Be here waiting for ya. I can't really tell her to leave. I do need the money. I'm not really in a position that to turn down work. Working on an apple farm can't be that bad. Okay, I'm ready, um, Applejack, right? Hey, you remember my name. You're pretty sharp there, new pony. Let's get along. Got a lot of work to get done. Oh, boy. Oh, I wouldn't be able to get up this early. Come on, new pony. First things first. Y'all can't be working on an empty stomach. Ooh, we get food first. Lots of apple food. Great. Oh, it's free breakfast? Hey, this isn't looking so bad after all. Wow, apple pies, apple fritters, it all looks amazing. Come on, man. Time to eat. Woo! <laughs> nom nom nom. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thanks for the breakfast, Applejack. It was amazing. I never knew you could do so many things with apples. And that cider. I bet that stuff would make dirt taste good. You are certainly welcome. And don't worry, that don't come out your pay or nothing. Ready to get to work? We got plenty to do. Certainly a colorful barn. Oh yeah, Pinkie Pie painted Yeah, that. Pinkie decided to give the barn a new shine for me. Her heart was in the right place, but that design isn't very apple. Pinkie? That's pretty funny. I ran into her when I first got here. Could barely understand her she talked so fast. <laughs> that sure sounds like Pinkie Pie. If you're friends with Pinky, do you know a mare named Rarity as well? Mm-hmm. Pinky and Rarity are two of my best friends. Is every pony in this town best friends? No, I'm just running into the main six the most. Ah, I see. She seems pretty popular. Yep, she's friends with every pony in town. Alright, partner. You see this here apple tree? We gotta get those apples down and into these buckets, just like I got here. Once we've accomplished that, the buckets gotta get loaded onto a cart. Don't worry about pulling the carts. Big Macintosh will take care of that. Oh good, no more pulling carts. Y'all ready to get to work? Here's Big Macintosh. Not sure I know him. He's my brother. He does the heavy stuff here on the farm. Right good job he does too. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll end up meeting him at some point in the day. You and him ought to get along real nice. Seems how neither one of y'all talk much. Oh. Okay, I think I got it. I'm ready to get started. Good to hear. Now I'm gonna head over there and start working my way to you. You start working your way to me and we'll meet in the middle. We'll be done before you know it. Before I head out, I need to make sure you can handle it. No offense. 
Show me what you can do. Oh boy. I don't know if I can do this. Get to ducking. Okay. Can't be that hard. Let's give it a shot. <coughs> um. <coughs> Ow. Oh. What happened? <laughs> Shucks. That sure was funny, new pony. You look like a filly that's had one too many. She's certainly an honest one. Brutally honest. I ain't never seen a pony buck themselves so to their face before. Here, let me show you one more time. You see, you gotta get a good grip with your front hooves, else you're just gonna fall on your face, as I reckon y'all know. <laughs> well, that was fun and all, but it's time to get to work. Just give a yell if you need anything. It shouldn't be too bad. Only looks like a hundred apple trees to buck. Guess I'm earning my pay today. Humph. Not so bad. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Humph. Okay, good. At least I can buck apples off of trees. That's one accomplishment. Hello, doggy. We got them apples down lickety split. You ain't half bad there, new pony. We finished this here section in half the time I thought it would take. I reckon y'all got the hang of apple bucking. I don't know if I got the hang of it or not. I did everything from miss the tree to fall on my face. Lucky no pony was watching. Yeah, I guess I did. Now just let me go and find Big Macintosh so he can haul him off. After that, we can head back to the house and you can collect your pay. Wait right here. I'm gonna go fetch Big Macintosh. New pony? This here's Big Macintosh. Hi, Big Macintosh. Nice to meet you. I can see why they call him Big Macintosh. This pony is huge. Yep. <laughs> what else would he say? <laughs> Nothing. Applejack says you two run Sweet Apple Acres together. Yep. You like working the farm? Yep. Huh. Well, important to enjoy what you do. Yep. <laughs> I can see y'all got plenty to talk about. Come on, new pony. Let's let Big Macintosh work. Time to head back. Sure thing. Nice to meet. Nice meeting you, Big Macintosh. Yep. Riveting conversation. <laughs> Just wonderful riveting dialogue from Big Mac. Here you are. Fifty shiny bits for a job well done. If y'all ever need to rustle up some cash, come let me know. We could always use some extra help down on the farm. 50 bits. Thanks, Applejack. I'll see you around. Applejack is now an acquaintance. I should come back and talk to her later. Sweet Apple Acres is on my map. Okay. What now? I'm kind of lost here. That wasn't so bad after all. I think I'm finally starting to regain feeling in my hind legs. Oh, goodness. <laughs> wow, is it only the afternoon? Feels like much later. Then again, I did get up before Celestia even raised the sun. <coughs> Ow. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you alright? Oh, it's Lyra. Yeah, I'm fine. It happens all the time. Are you? Okay, good. Glad you're okay. Gotta go. What's the hurry? <laughs> what in a Questria? Is every pony in this town crazy? Unicorn pass by here. Oh, it's Bonbon. You mean the unicorn that just slammed into me? Yeah, sorry about that. Lyra is excitable. I noticed. Seems to be a pretty common thing in this town. Yeah, but you get used to it. You're new in town, right? Just moved in, actually. That's awesome! I'm Bonbon, and the unicorn you just met is Lyra. I own a candy shop down in the market. You should stop by sometime. Ooh, I love candy. I definitely love candy. Sweet! Here, have some. Yay! It's free candy! It's my newest flavor. I call it... Bon Bon! Come on, hurry! You're gonna miss it! Okay, Lyra, I'm coming. See you around, new girl. Bon Bon's an acquaintance! What about Lyra, though? Who knows? This game is so much fun! 
Well, that was interesting. But free candy! <laughs> Can't complain. It's too early to head home. And I have some extra bits. Guess I should try and have some fun. What kind of fun things are there to do in Ponyville? Did you say fun things? I love fun things! Ooh, Rainbow Dash! Where did she come from? Uh, yeah, I did. Do you know what's fun to do here in Ponyville? What? You mean to tell me you don't know about all the cool stuff there is to do here in Ponyville? You must be new. Are you new? Yeah. How did you guess? Because every pony in Ponyville knows the most fun thing to do is check out the tricks performed by none other than a future Wonderbolt, Rainbow Dash! Oh. Yeah, that sounds like fun. So where do I find this Rainbow Dash? Are you serious? You're looking at her. Probably should have figured that out. She's definitely as colorful as her name implies. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Rainbow Dash. I'm... Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, new pony. So, you want to help me with some awesome new moves I've been working on? You know, we never get a chance to say our names. Er, no, I'm sorry. I never get a chance to say my name in this series. Why is that? I want to be able to have a name. Well, I do enjoy air shows. Sure thing. Is there anything a little magic can do for you? No, this is Pegasus stuff. We can't use magic at air shows. That would be cheating. And I am not a cheater. Besides, who needs to cheat when you're this awesome? Okay, new pony, let's get to it. What was your name again? It's... Hey, look at those clouds! They're perfect! Ugh! Again, you never get to say your name in this. There's a field just outside of town. From there, you should have an open view of the clouds. Follow me, I'll show you. Da 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 da! This should be fun. You can sit right here and watch. Unless you're planning on levitating yourself up to the clouds with me! <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. I want to levitate! <laughs> No, don't think I know a levitation spell that would work on myself. Aw, uh, I think they're written. There should be a levitation spell that lets you levitate. Haven't quite learned that one yet, huh? Don't worry, you'll be able to see all my awesome moves just fine from right here. Okay, let's see what you can do. Coming right up! Not too shabby. Reminds me of the Wonderbolt show I saw in, back in Canterlot. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Great job, Rainbow. <coughs> that looked painful. I um ow my head. You okay? I'm fine, I think. But what did I tell you about using your magic? Magic? I didn't use any magic. You sure? Something was definitely pulling me down. The wind doesn't just change direction like that. I'm telling you, I didn't use any magic. You would have seen my horn glow. Yeah, I guess you're right. Unless you're some kind of stealth spy pony. You messed up. Just admit it already. No, just drive a unicorn. I don't know any stealth spells. Uh-huh. That doesn't make any sense. Something caused me to... Er... Uh, well... Crash? Yeah, it wasn't my fault. I don't know what happened. <laughs> my ears are ringing. Hey, look. Don't tell any pony about the crashing part, okay? Please? I have a reputation to uphold. I'm practically a hero to Ponyville. I have a fan club and everything. Run by Philly that might be a bit... too uh, obsessed. So let's just keep this between us, okay? Please? Don't worry, Rainbow Dash. I won't tell. Well, thank you so much, new pony. I mean, as the best flyer in Equestria, a lot of ponies look up to me. Wouldn't want to go crushing their vision of their hero, right? Best flyer in Equestria? Never seen the Wonderbolts crash. Yeah, of course. The tricks were pretty cool, though. Yeah, you noticed, huh? I am one of the best, after all. I don't mean to brag, but did you see those moves? Who normal Pegasus could pull those off? Yeah, it was pretty cool, Rainbow Dash. Cool? More like so. There you are, Dashy. Oh, it's Pinky. Pinky? Come on, Dashy. I need your help. Sorry, 
Sorry, new pony. Gotta go. Talk later. Well, that happened. I think it's time to go home. Rainbow Dash is now an acquaintance! Hooray! whoop de doo <laughs> Oh, I need to try and sound more excited about this. <sighs> Good to be home. I am exhausted. I don't know how Applejack does that every day. Wish I had her energy. Time for a shower, then bed. I feel like I could pass out. Oh, chat. Scene 3. Deceptive Manners. <coughs> what the buck? Oh, God. <laughs> what in Tartarus was that? Are we under attack or something? <coughs> Wait a minute. Everything looks okay. Better go see what's going on. This scene sounds familiar! I can't put my finger on where it came from, though. What an equestrian is that thing? No, seriously! This scene is so familiar! I don't know where it's from, though! Listen, I know where this thing- Come on, I I'll think of it. Huh, a pony, lying on the ground, not moving. Hey, are you alright? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Oh, that's where this is from! This is Doctor Who's! I should have recognized that theme earlier. Eh, my apologies for being so stupid. What happened? Nah, nothing to worry about. Just made a slight miscalculation. Or two. Or, uh, <clears throat> three. So I talk with you sometimes. Just can't quite get a grip on anything. I mean, I could use my mouth, I suppose, but then I get saliva everywhere. Oh well, nothing does a machine better than an old dowsing in ponies room. <laughs> this is interesting. They, they put Dr. Hughes in this game. That's awesome. Oh, wait, you there. You, you have magic. But it's use and lend me a hoof, would you? Oh, though I suppose in your case it's more like lending a horn. Anyways, let's get to work. This dying is a bit strange. Sure, what exactly do you need? It's really simple. There's no math or science, basically spring the right shape to the right place and twisting. Should be something even you can do. Just tighten a few screws, nothing around seeing no explosions. I promise. At least there shouldn't be any explosions. <laughs> no explosions? No, I don't think so. So I'm just operating a screwdriver? Precisely. So just tighten all these screws. Correct. Magic makes life easier. <laughs> is that all of them? Yes, yes it is. Good job, you just accomplished a mindlessly mundane task. Granted, I couldn't even get it right. Hooves and mouth, not the best operating tools. Yeah, no problem. So who are you exactly? Who am I? Oh, yes, of course. I'm the doctor. Well, it's terribly important. Thanks for the help. Perhaps I'll need it again sometime. Uh, what was your name? It's... Oh, God. What was that? Oh, damn it, more to fix. Thanks again, assistant. Well, I'm wide awake now. Might as well head into town. Yay! Doctor Who's an acquaintance! I like Doctor Who's. Um... Okay. Looks like no one else heard that explosion. Seems like a normal day. Ponyville, it's never a normal day. Huh? Who's that? She looks kinda out of place. Like she's lost or something. I should see if she's alright. Hey, do you need some help? Yes. You, madame. Might you spare a moment? That look. She's definitely from Canterlot. Yeah, sure. What can I do for you, miss? Please, call me Floor. Oh, Fleur. My full name is Fleur de Lis, but it could get rather tedious to say the entire thing. It's Fleur. Okay, Fleur. So, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could point me in the direction of Town Hall. I've been looking for it, but... But I think I'm only succeeding in disorienting myself. Town Hall? Are you new in town? Why, yes. I am. I just arrived here from Canterlot, actually. I haven't ever been in Ponyville before. Well, that is, I have ridden the train through town, but never actually stopped to walk around. 
Not that there is anything wrong with Ponyville. I was just always passing through. Yep, same old Canterlot Manor. But it seems a bit different somehow. She doesn't have any I think I'm superior presentation that most Canterlot ponies have. She actually seems kind of nervous. Guess Ponyville is a whole new world to her. Hmm. Well, I'm actually new to Ponyville myself. Oh, I see. So you are in a similar situation to myself, dear. Probably. I've only been here for a short time, but I can show you Town Hall. You have to go there... You have to go there buy a house, if that's what you're looking for. I'm hoping to move in later today. I just don't know where to start. Come on, follow me. I'll show you. Oh, why thank you, dearie. I do not wish to be a bother. You certainly don't have to walk me all the way there. I don't mind. Not really doing anything at the moment anyway. Oh, well, thank you. Goodness, we've only been here for a few days and we already, we're already showing another new pony around. Interesting. Yeah, this video is going to be going on for a long time. I hope I can keep your interest. Come on, it's not much further. Here you are. The secretary over there will help you with the housing stuff. Anything else you need, Floor? Thank you ever so much, dearie. You have been most helpful. Once I get my new home, would you care to join me for tea? I'm not familiar with any ponies in this town. Perhaps we could be friends. I haven't had tea in a while. Sounds like fun, Floor. Wonderful. Thank you again for helping me. I look forward to having tea with you, new friend. Sounds nice, Floor. Let me know when you get your new home set up. I certainly will. Thank you again. Yay! We have another friend. Uh, who are our official friends now? We have Derpy and Fleur. And is everyone else just an acquaintance? I guess so. Okay. Wonder what I should do now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where I should go. Um, should I go... Ah. Uh. I, I guess I'll go... I can go check on Rarity. <laughs> See what she's doing. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to... Oh, it's you. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> I'm home. Not bad. How are you today, Rarity? Busy, busy, busy. You know, the usual. What can I do for you today, darling? Looking for a stylish new dress? Not right now, thanks. I was actually wondering if you had any work. Work? Oh, but of course. I'm afraid I don't have any at this moment. I'll be in need of your assistance soon, though. I have to make a few new outfits for a client that has exactly your So basically you need a model? <laughs> Just not today. And if you're in need of furniture, I actually sold my last piece this morning to a well-dressed musician with an unusually proper accent. <laughs> she was actually quite delightful. I see. That's fun. Say, Rarity, what's that ruby you have there? Oh? You mean this? Oh, I didn't even notice that! <laughs> I'm sure not being observant today. <laughs> So she can use magic after all. Well, she's a unicorn. Why, it's a fire ruby. Oh, yeah. They're extremely rare. I got it as a gift. A special gift from my good friend Spike. It was so cute. Oh, he's such a sweetheart. <laughs> Spike? Mm-hmm, he's a dragon. A dragon? <laughs> <laughs> He's a baby dragon. He helps Twilight all over the library. I'm sure you'll meet him soon. You know you don't always have to stop by just for business. Perhaps we can simply just chat sometime? When I'm not busy, of course. 
Sounds good. I think we'd have a lot to talk about. Marvelous, darling. I'm looking forward to it. I really should be getting back to work. I'll let you know when I'm in need of your assistance. Ta-ta for now. All right. Where should we go? Let's go to Sweet <laughs> Apple Anchors and check on Applejack and everyone. That's strange. I don't see Applejack anywhere. Wonder if it's her day off. Hey there, Whippersnapper. Come to check out the orchards, have ya? Yeah, uh, sorta. Um, do you work here too? Work here? Ah, now I get it. You're that new gal that was helping out my granddaughter the other day. Yeah, that's right. Is she around? Hmm. Nope, don't think she is. Why you wanna know? I was just hoping to see if she... <laughs> you were gonna ask her about Big Macintosh, weren't ya? If she had some work... Wait, what? Oh, come on! You don't really talk much, so I can see why you'd want to talk to Applejack first. Wait, what? Don't think I've seen Applejack today, but Big Macintosh is right over there. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just saying that every time. It's about time Big Macintosh settled down. Look, lady, I just wanted to see if there was any work for me today. What? I just wanted to see if there was any work for me today. What? I just wanted to see if there was any work for me today. You wanted to see if there was a fork in the hay? Oh, God. I don't think this is going anywhere. You're certainly a strange one, but that's okay. Most of Ponyville thinks I'm a crazy old lady. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yeah, real surprise there. There you are, Granny Smith. Apple Bloom has been looking for you. Apple Bloom? Uh huh. That's right. Told her I'd teach her how to make apple pie. Must have slipped my mind. Pie. Gotta go. That mare redefines crazy old lady. <laughs> Uh, any work today, Big Macintosh? Nope. No work here either. Guess I'll keep looking around. Hmm. Let's go to the field. I don't know where any work is. What are we supposed to do? Huh, not a lot going on here today. Don't even see Rainbow Dash flying around. Guess there isn't much to do here either. Excuse me, dear madam. Me? Uh, yes, you that, milady. Uh, what can I do you for? God doesn't look like he's from around here. Ah, I'm quite glad you asked. You see, I'm on a bit of a quest. A treasure hunt, if you will. Okay. Would you happen to know where a gentle fellow, such as myself, could happen to peruse a selection of fine diamonds or perhaps other precious stones? Is that a diamond dog? I think it is. Fine diamonds? You mean like jewelry? Quite. I am interested in acquiring some ostentatious regalia. What is this guy talking about? Okay, so diamonds. Hmm. Hey, that's right. Erdy has gems over at her boutique. I'm sure she would sell you a few. Excellent. And where might one find this quaint little boutique? It's in Ponyville, right down the street from Town Hall. A big purple and white building. You can't miss it. Ah, oh, thank you, milady. I certainly appreciate your time. Here, allow me to compensate you for your trouble. Oh, some guy gives you ten bits. My dog is barking a lot, I'm sorry. Thanks. But of course. Come now, Brutus. We must inform our compatriots of our discovery. Boss, why do we need to round up the boys? It's just a prissy pony boutique. Um... Silence, you fool! We can't just tell... Uh, that is to say, I wish to make a somewhat grandiose purchase. They need help transporting all of it. Believe me, that's a good idea. Those things get heavy fast. Indeed they do. Well then, I bid thee farewell. Okay, I'm not liking where this is going. Birdie should be pleased. I sent some business her way. Now what to do? Uh, this is making me a bit nervous. Okay, how about we go back to Town Hall? See what's going on there. Ugh. Huh, no jobs available right now. Guess I should go find something fun to do today.
Should we go back to Rarity? I've been there already. Fine, we can't go. I guess the only place left is my house. Nothing really going on here. No mail either. Yawn. Getting tired. Time to head home. I hope the doctor hasn't exploded doing whatever it is he was doing. I like the fact that the doctor's in this game. Where's that coming from? Wow, she's really good. Ooh, Octavia. Oh! Hello there. H hi. Sorry, I wasn't trying to disturb you. It's quite alright. Was I playing too loud? Not at all. That was beautiful. Why... Why, thank you. I was worried ponies here wouldn't appreciate classical music. I thought it was very nice. Thank you. Oh, um... Where are my manners? I'm Octavia. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Octavia. Your accent. Are you from Candelot? Yes, I am. How did you guess? I went to school there. Really? My ensemble plays there. Wait, an ensemble? You play in the Candelot Ensemble? <laughs> yes, I do. Or, I did. I'm actually on hiatus at the moment. Hiatus? Why? I'd rather not say. Oh, I understand. Did you just move here? Yes, just a few days ago. Have you been in Ponyville long? No, I just got here about a week ago. I see. It takes some getting used to Ponyville. It's so much quieter than Cantalot. As all hours of the night, one could hear the sound of a fancy party, or the overture of a midnight production. It's all so magical in Cantalot. Ponyville is quiet, frostic, and quaint. I rather enjoy it. It just may take me some time to adjust. Here, I can sit on this silent hill and play to my heart's content without drawing a crowd or being pestered to sign an autograph and the like. I can actually get away from it all here. Away from all those distractions and friends. Oh, she's lonely! You okay? Huh? Oh, yes, of course. I'm so sorry. I kind of zoned out there for a moment. Um, what were we talking about? You were saying Ponyville takes some getting used to. Yes, that's right. Uh, I'm actually surprised such a small town can be so grandiose. Grandiose. I love that fancy word that I can't even recognize. It is rather surprising. I thought Ponyville was just going to be a small town. My ensemble has played here before, but I didn't get a chance to explore. Since you're new, maybe I'll show you around sometime. No, that's all right. I mean, I appreciate your offer. I just don't want to get distracted. Uh, I'd like to focus on my music. All right, then. Maybe we'll bump into each other later. We very well may. Good evening. Another cantaloupe proper? Ponyville must be the new hot vacation spot. But what's a member of the cantaloupe ensemble doing here? And why did she seem so sad? Last I heard, the cantaloupe ensemble had a record deal and everything. You'd think she'd be ecstatic. <coughs> hmm. Oh well. <laughs> home sweet home. I'll have to find some work tomorrow. For now, shower. Then, sleep. Knock. I think this is a good stopping point. This has probably been going on for a really long time. But, you know, we'll come back to it as soon as possible. I promise. See you then.